Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today we're unboxing the newest release from By the Well for God. This is the My Peace devotional kit, and then I also have some of the add-on goodies, and then some of the things that I personally ordered for my stash. So let's dive right in. Now I do want to mention that this kit during the pre-sale did sell out. However, don't panic. They will be restocking the kit this Friday. Um, the, what is that, November 1st, it will be restocked, so you will have some time to order it and still join in with us in the month of November. So don't panic, don't stress. So you guys, a lot of people are doing uh, gratitude documented for the month of November. Um, however, that project doesn't really have devotional content with it. It's prompts and verses. Uh, and then you just kind of work at your own pace on a daily basis. So if you're looking for something that has devotional content um, to go along with that or instead of that, then this kit is going to be for you. Um, this is also going to have some great devotional content as we head into the holiday season. Season, which is pretty chaotic and crazy. So let me share with you, um, let me set aside some of these extra things for a second here. So let's talk about the goodie bag. So if you um, didn't know, when you order from By the Well for God, you get all kinds of extra free goodies depending on uh, what size of order that you place. So here's my little goodie bag with a sampling of some of the things that you can get. Now, for those first 100 people who ordered during the pre-sale, um, they get this really adorable vinyl truck sticker. So this is a sticker um, that you can put on, um, like I keep mine on my hydro flask here. So this is where this little truck will live. Um, so it is waterproof if you want to stick it on something like that, or you can stick it on the front of a journal or use it in a Bible journaling entry. Um, but it is vinyl, so it's waterproof and you can use it, um, you know, in a variety of different places. For those first 100 people also are going to get a mini Versifying Onyx Black Ink. If you have been watching any number of my videos and you know, this is like hands down my favorite black ink. It just gives you a very crisp image. It is like a special pigment. It's really weird. It's a pigment ink. It does tend to bleed through thinner pages if you're not careful. Um, it does take a little bit longer to dry, but it just gives you very, very crisp images when you stamp with it. So it'll be really nice to have a little travel-sized mini one. So these were the items that the first 100 people that ordered the pre-sale got. So that's already done and over with. But I just wanted to share with that with you as an incentive for those of you, um, when you see the pre-sale pop up, hop on over and order because they do kind of reward you for being, you know, in that first 100. So there is that. And then I think any order over $35, I believe, I try, I try to get it right every time and I always mess up. But I think it's every order over $35 gets um, an extra little goodie bag with die cuts and a little stamp set. So this stamp set is the one that they're doing right now. It's got like a little bird with this floral image. I know Lori mentioned it might be really pretty to like color in the floral and then use the foil quill um, foiling pens to foil the bird would be really pretty. Now I do want to mention that these, the style of stamp that you get for this is dependent upon what they have in stock and on hand. So usually they do like a run of 500 um, of this stamp and then they'll switch it out for a different stamp for the following 500. So there is no guarantee. You can't request which one you want. Just remember these are free goodies, just extra things that they toss in your package for you. Um, they're just little bonus things that you can get. So there is that. And then you get some extra fabric clippies on a card with an extra verse card. So I always like having extra fabric clippies. I love having these kind of popping out of my um, Bible. And I love all of the fall textures they have in the kit this month. Then you also get some die cuts. I have double the die cuts. The creative team got double the die cuts. But you do get die cut pieces. How pretty are these like line drawn illustrated florals? So these are on like a thin cardstock or thick paper. So you could color these with markers. I don't know that I would get too crazy with water mediums because they're not that thick. Um, but I can see these kind of layered behind things would be really pretty. So you get some extra die cut pieces and then you also get some extra washi strip stickers this month. So this is just the little thank you bonus that you get for placing an order from By the Will For God. So there is that. Uh, and then we have the thank you card. So this gives you a little note about the kit this month. It says, we're thrilled you'll be joining us for our My Peace devotional study. In our hectic world, the holidays often bring anxiety and stress. 
Amen, sister. That's how I feel. <laughs> this month, we dig into God's word where we learn that his peace is that which surpasses all understanding. This is the peace that Jesus promised to leave us in John 14, 27. So this month, we'll be focusing on the peace that we can get um, uh, from Christ. And they also have some information about where you can find By the Well for God on Instagram, Facebook. They do have a Facebook group as well if you want to jump on over and follow that. And then they have the link for their email list. And so if you get on their email list, that's how they notify you when the pre-sale starts or when restock happens or when new products show up in the shop. So definitely be on there. They don't spam your email with all kinds of emails every single day. Some of those things drive me nuts, but that is not how they do. It's just notifying you when things are changing in the shop. Um, and then there is a hashtag for this kit. So hashtag BTW4G or by the well for God underscore my piece. Now I want to encourage you guys to use this hashtag when you're posting on social media. Um, God's really put it on my heart this last month to be better about encouraging others in this community. Um, I always think it when I'm scrolling past your guys' stuff, um, but I'm not very intentional about liking it or commenting or sharing. And so this month, I've really tried to be intentional at least once a week. I search the different hashtags for the kits that we're working on, and I share the different things that you guys are doing that are inspiring me. So uh, definitely use that hashtag, and then that way I can see how you guys are using the kits and kind of share you and share your inspiration with others. So you also get a peek into the uh, graphics for the kit this month and they are gorgeous. So Brenda Weaver did the illustrations for the kit this month. Um, and if you didn't realize, Brenda Weaver also did the illustrations for Gratitude Documented from Illustrative Faith. So if you're working in that kit for the month of November, your kits are gonna be able to be mashed together and coordinate very well because the florals are the same style, which I am obsessed with. I'm so glad. That was a total accident that was not planned and it really worked out for those of us in the community who work on multiple projects at once. Now you can combine your kits and work on them together. And then on the back side here, you get a little peek into the kit that we'll be releasing in late November. This will be the Advent or Christmas kit. It says, join us for our December devotional kit, Redemption Unwrapped. Let's prepare our hearts for Christmas by unwrapping the multiple gifts of our redemption. The gift of salvation, this great gift, as Hebrews 2.3 calls it, is wrapped in multiple layers of unbelievable wonderfulness. And then you get to get a little peek of the graphics and the colors. Um, and so if you wanted to start pulling together products for December, then this kind of gives you a little peek into that. So there is your thank you card. Now let's dive into the actual kit. So as always, you've got your devotional booklet. Uh, things aren't changing there. We've got 14, it's a 14 day devotional. So the way it's kind of structured is that you can spend a day reading the devotional, studying the scripture, answering the prompts. And then the following day, if you want to respond um, with like a memory decks card or Bible journaling or traveler's notebook journaling, however you want to do that, you can stretch this over an entire month, or you can do like me where you sit down and do multiple days all at once. <laughs> That's what works with my schedule and how um, I kind of operate. But um, the Bible for God devotionals are always packed full of really great devotional content um, and not just like light and fluffy. They do word studies like here on day three, they're talking about um, he the Hebrew word shalom um, and the Greek words and the root words and definitions and all that goodness in here. So you're really diving in. Um, there's usually history talking about the culture at the time, um, plenty of verse references, and then some prompts to kind of get you to interact with the devotional content and what it is that you studied for that particular day. So if you're looking for an in-depth study, this one is perfect for that. So you've got 14 days talking all about my piece, hopefully just giving us um, a sense of heart piece as we go into the hectic, crazy Thanksgiving, Christmas season. I know every year I try to like rein things in, streamline it a little better so it's not as crazy, and um, it always ends up crazy. So I'm looking forward to having this as a place to just kind of go and retreat and relax and find peace and just kind of get my heart and head into a good space um, through the holiday season. So there's the devotional booklet. Now everything else in the kit is meant to kind of supplement to that, kind of coordinate with it if you wanted to respond in art worship. So we've got the... Um, card for the kit, my piece. And on the back side, you've got a verse, John 14, 27. So you can use this in your journaling, or you can use this to pass along to somebody, maybe somebody that needs some encouragement, or if you want to, you know, hang it on your mirror, put it in your car, have it in front of you throughout the month while you're working on the kit. Um, I like that there's just elements that you can kind of take away from the Bible journaling aspect and integrate into other parts of your life. So you also get three fabric clips this month. I think we normally get two, right? 
only two, and this month we get three. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Um, this dusty purple is one of my favoriteest colors. I am obsessed with this color palette. Now the color palette is not identical to the one that was used for Gratitude Documented. So even though the illustrations are similar, the colors are a little bit different, but they're all fall colors. So I am gonna be mixing and matching elements um, in my Gratitude Documented project. Next up, we have the kit sticker. So if you are keeping track of the different devotionals that you're working on in the front of your Bible, this gives you the ability to do that. So if you've got multiple Bibles, you can flip through and see which ones have which devotional content, or you can use these for an entry. You can use them on the front of a notebook if you're working in a separate notebook as well as the um, devotional notebook. So lots of options there. This is one of my favorite elements of the By the Well for God kits. Now, I misspoke last month. I mentioned I didn't think that any other kits do these watercolor swatches, but you guys responded that there is a kit company, I want to say either in Europe or Australia maybe, that does one. I just wasn't aware because I live in the States, so I didn't know that. So sorry, there is another company that does watercolors, but here in the States, there's only one that does the watercolor um, swatches, I believe. And so we've got seven colors. Yes, seven colors this month. If you have questions about how to use these and how to store them, I will link a Tip Tuesday down below. Basically, these are just concentrated watercolor um, from Daniel Smith on here, and you just take a wet paint brush to activate the paint, and then you can use it... Um, you know, and coloring things in on your entries, however you want to use it. And there's plenty on here that I usually have left over after the kit is done. And so I just hold on to those. Some of my favorites, of course, are Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Genuine. I say that every time. I love that color. And we've been seeing a lot of it. Um, and then Amethyst Genuine is definitely another favorite of mine. Um, I do have a small pan of this one. It's so, so pretty. It's got kind of like a sparkle to it. So, and then you also have um, a variety of other colors that coordinate with the colors in the kit. So you've got that. Next up are the die cut pieces. I've already filmed this unboxing once and then my dogs went crazy, so I'm having to redo it. So everything's kind of um, undone from the packaging, but you've got your packaged die cut pieces. So lots and lots of these beautiful florals from Brenda Weaver. You guys, they are just absolutely stunning. And one thing I, I'm just like amazed by, look at these tabs. So they're the florals cut in half and made into tab shapes. How amazing is that? How have I never thought about doing that before with a stamp set? Come on. <laughs> you even have a little pomegranate, a little half of pomegranate, super fun. You've got some regular tab shapes in there. You've got some little acorn pieces that are super cute. Lots of fall colors. I love using that purple and teal. Those aren't usually like typical fall colors, but they are colors that I reach for when doing um, fall projects. So I'm glad that that's the color palette this month. You even got some little feathers and leaves in there, acorns. I mean, Brenda's artwork is just phenomenal. How pretty is that? So tons of fall leaves, lots of goodies, and then even a little tag with my piece on there. And then um, another thing I love about By the Wolf for God is how they encourage us to use different textures. So usually the die cuts include like a vellum or a doily or a piece of fabric, something like that. This month we're getting a piece of burlap. And so these are just fun to kind of layer behind your die cuts and elements to add some fun textures to your journaling entries. So I'm curious to see how you guys use that. If you're not following the creative team, you definitely should be. I'll try to link all their Instagrams down below. Uh, Lenora from the team always does really creative entries. So I'm curious to see how she uses this little uh, swatch of burlap. She just blows me away with just all the little details that go into her Bible journaling entries. So challenge Lenora. Let's see how you're going to use that uh, burlap piece there. All right, we've got our flare buttons with the word complete and rejoice with those beautiful floral pieces in there. These are little pins. So I like to actually attach these to um, the fabric clippies. So they're kind of hanging outside of my Bible, but you can also attach them to the front of a Bible cover or a Bible bag. Um, they're a little bit thick to use actually in your entry. Um, you might be able to deconstruct the pin and then use the piece that's in there. Um, leave me a comment down below. How do you guys use the flare buttons. I always seem to have kind of a collection of these laying around my desk. All right, next up is the four by six stamp set. And I am so excited about the stamps for this release. So this is the one that comes with the kit. You've got the words, my peace and shalom. So of course, great words that you can use again and again in other entries once we're done with um, this kit. This big, beautiful floral piece, you guys, this is stunning. So I can see you guys leaving it black and white and maybe stamping it on um, something like acetate or vellum, or you could go in and selectively color. So just add a little bit of color 
color in here or fully color it and get a different look. And then this is a piece that um, even once we're done with this kit, just by changing up the color um, that you add in here, you can use it with other projects. I think it would take us into December very easily as well if you did more of a winter theme. Um, so I'm, I'm obsessed. Floral stamps are kind of one of my obsessions. And then you also have this giant feather piece here, which is super pretty. So there is the stamp set for the kit. Next up, we have the clear stickers. So you get three sheets of st clear stickers. You've got this one with the colored florals on there. You've got the outline florals. These are super pretty. And then some washi uh, strips. So these are clear sticker paper. Um, so they just blend right into the Bible page seamlessly. I love having the options for washi tape. Um, and I like to actually cut these in half and kind of wiggle my scissors so they look like they're torn and they just blend right in just like regular washi tape. So you do get three sheets of those. And don't be afraid to cut apart the stuff at the top here. So you've got a little floral cluster, the title, my piece, if you wanted to add that to a tab. And then of course that adorable little by the well for God truck with some more Brenda Weaver florals in the back is super cute. So there's the clear stickers. Next up we have the tip-in pieces. So you get three tip-ins. These are sized to fit in a standard journaling Bible with those two inch margins, um, but you can use them as tip-ins in you know, really anything. Uh, I work in the illustrating Bible, so I actually typically will um, cut tabs out of these or cut elements out of it uh, and maybe use the verse as you know, another element on its own. Uh, so don't be afraid to cut these apart and use them you know, however however you see fit. So you've got three verses on the front here. Super pretty. I just love these florals. And then on the back side, you've got some titles, plenty of room to journal. So if you wanted to use some washi tape to cre create like a hinge here, then that would give you the tip in aspect. And then you could do some more private journaling or if you just needed some more space um, when you're doing the word studies or things like that, it gives you the ability to do that or just use them as bookmarks. My kiddos usually come in and steal them and use them as bookmarks. So there are those. And then last but not least, you have the alphabet stickers. It it is a, the floral print scaled way, way down in there. So really pretty. I love that it's a little bit darker of a print. Um, so the letters are a little bit easier to see when you do use them. These are not a cardstock sticker. They're just a regular sticker paper, which I prefer. I feel like these stick to the page a little bit better. So you have a, um, several of each letter. You also have some ampersands and some punctuation and some hearts in there super, super cute. And then everything comes in this super adorable little drawstring bag. So if you're journaling on the go, it's really easy to just throw everything in there, have everything together um, as you maybe move about your house or take it to the coffee shop, whatever it might be, you can have everything organized nicely in there. So there is a look at the My Piece kit. Like I said, this is sold out, but we'll be restocking on Friday. So be sure to sign up for the email list so you can get that notification when it's restocked. Let's talk about some of the other goodies in the new release. So these are things that you can add on to the kit. They were designed to coordinate with the kit. We've got the set of Traveler's Notebook inserts. So it does come in a pack of two, one with this really pretty, I'm gonna say that over and over. You guys know florals just speak to my heart. So you've got the fall florals and then this fun kind of plaid um, gingham pattern. They are blank notebooks on the inside. It's the same paper that they use in the devotional booklets. And then it's got this really fun distressed grid on the inside of this one. And then this one has this fun kind of triangle pattern in those colors from the kit. I've seen a lot of people use these as some extra space to journal out your prompt responses from the devotional content, maybe journal out prayers, or even just throw one of these into a traveler's notebook system and have it for um, sermon notes or, you know, prayer requests, things like that. It's always nice to have kind of a blank notebook. While I've pulled this onto screen, it just matches perfectly, you guys. So this is a Webster's Traveler's Notebook um, cover. These are in the By the Well for God shop. I do believe they were going to be ordering more of this lilac color. If they don't have this color in stock, they do have some other colors. I think the mustard yellow would go really well with this month's kit as well. I'm just partial to the lilac. And then this here is actually a floral swag from um, Gail. She's on our creative team. She is um, the owner of Flourish by Gigi. It's an Instagram account where she makes these um, felted florals and sells them on there. So I know it's not part of By the Well for God, but she is part of our team. We love her. We support her. And you guys, how absolutely drop dead gorgeous is this piece? And it matches perfectly with the kit this month. So definitely be following her. I'll put her Instagram down below so you can catch the next time that she does um, an Instagram sale. All right, so there's the notebooks. 
This is something new in the shop. These are memory decks cards. So they're little booklets of cards. I do believe these are three by four ish. They seem like three by four, three and a quarter by four. So three and a quarter by four. And these will fit perfectly into the memory deck system if you're doing um, a memory decks box. And they are meant to be colors to coordinate with the kit. So a lot of the ladies are actually taking um, their Bible journaling out of their Bible and doing some of these cards as well. It's kind of nice to have the verses that um, maybe you're standing out to you or verses that you really want to study out on your desk in front of you. Um, where it's easier to see than in your Bible. So they have these little booklets and they did choose to not have the holes punched. That way you can use these for anything that you want. It doesn't have to be the memory decks, um, but you can easily use the memory decks punch to punch the holes in the bottom here. I know these can be kind of hard to get. American Crafts has very limited supply. They kind of sold out like crazy. Uh, so if I can find one, I'll link down below for you guys, but I know they can be a little bit hard to get. Um, there's also some dies that you can use, or if you purchase Purchase the Heidi Swap system. It comes with some cards already in here, some blank cards, and then you can just cut out and use that as a template to cut these out. So, um, but I like that you have the option if you don't have the memory deck system, you could use these in a recipe box, you could use them as tip ins, um, you could hole punch and make a little mini album, um, would be really cute. So, I like that they didn't punch the holes. That way, you can use them in a variety of different ways. So, you do have some purpley grid and then this really deep. Um, golden brown um, grid color there. So there are those. Of course, you've got the alphas. You've got the tile alphas. So you get five sheets of tile alpha stickers that are in colors that coordinate with the kit this month. These are gonna be a staple for me because these are some of my favorite fall colors. That purple, the teal, super pretty. So you get five of those. Or you have the clear stickers. You get seven sheets of these. It's the same font as the sticker that's included in the kit, but these are clear stickers, so they do just blend right into your page. Uh, I think it's fun to layer these behind the solid ones and kind of create a little bit of a shadow effect with these is really pretty. Um, I just get a lot of use out of these and the colors. And you guys even pay attention to the names, Lori and Tom. It's just Lori and Tom in the shop. If you guys didn't realize, By the Will for God is just Lori and her husband. Um, they occasionally have some part-time workers that will come in during sh shipping times, but they create, make, package, ship, all of your products, keep the shop running, creatively have to come up with names and designs and color schemes and all that. It's just quite impressive what those two do. So if things seem like it's taking a while to be released or be updated or get to you, just keep in mind, it's just two of them um, trucking along trying to keep that shop running. And so go and support them. It's so nice to support a smaller shop that has that hands-on feel to it. So those are the stickers. Now let's talk stamp sets. So let's see here, let me make sure I have, yes, I have everybody. Okay, so I wanna talk about this one first because if you are on a limited budget and you can only get one thing, I would say purchase this. I really want you guys to support Lori, don't get me wrong, I want you guys to support that shop and buy those kits, um, but this is for such a good cause. So this is a stamp set for Eva Love. Um, they partnered with Christina's Alive to do the artwork for the stamp set, and 100% of the proceeds of this stamp set are gonna go towards the GoFundMe for Eva. So if you are not familiar with this little girl, I will put the links of her parents down below. Um, I've been following them. Um, on August 22nd, she had a crazy accident. She fell out of a um, golf cart and had a very traumatic brain injury. Um, the doctors did not have a good prognosis for her, and she has already exceeded what doctors expected her to, but she definitely has a very long road ahead of her, um, and of course the medical bills and things that come along with that. So I just love, love, love that Lori and Tom, um, you know, have taken it upon themselves to, do, you know, give back to this community and support others in this community, and um, Lindsay and her husband just, you know, have such a love for God and just um, are counting on a miracle for their daughter. And so if you are going to only get one thing, please go pick up the stamp set and help support Eva and her and her family and her journey to healing. And of course, it's cute. I mean, come on, Christina does really adorable artwork. You've got these fun arrows, the little boxer gloves, this fun rainbow piece, 
Hold On to Hope, Prayer Warrior. Oh my gosh, I can see us using that on everything. And He Fights for His Children. So great stamp set. That will be linked down below for you guys. And then for the rest of the stamp release, of course, it's going to be um, most of them that coordinate with the kit and then um, an extra one in there as well. So we've got these four here. You've got Peace with God. Again, beautiful florals. This one I could see transitioning very easily into Advent and Christmas time. It's got Rejoice in the Lord, Peace with God, and then some other extra little elements. These kind of stamp sets are the ones that I love to invest in, are alpha stamps and floral stamps. These are very easy to not only use in your Bible journaling um, as layering elements or whatever, but very easy to incorporate into projects outside of your Bible. So we have amassed quite the collection of product, I'm sure most of us. And so why not use it to create cards, create things to um, encourage others around you, make little greeting cards, things like that. And so these pieces are very easy to do that with. So there is Peace With God. Here's Love Binds. This is probably one of my favorites here. So you've got, of course, florals from Brenda, the word love binds. Um, these are, again, gonna match the ones from Gratitude Documented. So it would be really fun to just stamp these as layering pieces behind elements in that project, as well as use it as you're working through my piece. So there's that one. Whole, I believe Whole is sold out and they don't plan on restocking it. However, if this seems like something that you guys are really interested in, um, please email By the Will for God just so they can get a feel for um, whether it's worth restocking if there's enough of you guys that want this one. I think the florals in the mason jar are so, so pretty and would be really fun for um, cards as well. And then you've got um, one whole complete, this adorable little acorn and leaf piece, but this is just gorgeous you guys so uh, if this is something that you are interested in and want to see it restocked let them know an email and that will kind of give them an idea of whether they should restock that one or not and then autumn blooms again of course another one that is a great staple element these big large florals and these really pretty leaves another one that would be great to use with the foil quill pen um, I will link that video down below if you're curious how to use those pens but I think these would be really pretty stamped on vellum and then gold foiled would be really pretty or if you are into alcohol inks maybe create an alcohol Alcohol ink background, gold foil these and cut them out would be really pretty. So lots of different ways you can use this stamp set here. And then last but not least is shine. So you've got a variety of different um, light bulbs. The light and shine is definitely a very um, prevalent theme in the Bible. So this is a stamp set you can get a lot of use out of. I love that it's just kind of, you know, different shapes. These are great too if you work with kiddos, if you do Awanas or Sunday school. Um, this is a stamp set I could see getting a lot of use um, in a classroom environment like that. So, and then each one does have um, a verse. So if you're just wanting some inspiration about where to use these stamp set there is the verse to kind of give you a jumping off point but of course that isn't the only place that you can use them in there so there is a look at the new release from by the wall for god i am so so excited like i said stay tuned this will be restocked the kit will be restocked this friday so don't fret if you missed out um, i will be popping back in with process videos throughout the month be sure to follow the other ladies on the creative team because they just do some amazing amazing projects so all the links to everything will be be listed down below. Check out the description box for all of those. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.